Thank you, Dr. Josette Tixon, for the brief and pleasant introduction. Here's a short dialogue from Nolimi Tangere. How long have you been away from the country? Lahura asked Ibarra. Seven years. Then you must have forgotten all about it. To which Ibarra replied, Quite the contrary. Even if my country seems to have forgotten about me, I have always thought about it. Good day, classmates. And to our Dean, Dr. Grace, our esteemed professors and panelists, I'm Maria Oliva J. Abarquez. And in this academic journey that we have taken, I have finally found courage and desire to pursue a study on Rizal and the youth whom he calls as the hope of our motherland. The title of my study is the Filipino-American Youth Perceptions of the Teaching of Rizal, a basis for curriculum development for the Philippine Consulate Education Program. Background of this study. My readings brought me to finding a social anthropological background on ethnic self-identity crisis among the Filipino-American youth, which led me to recalling that in the Philippines, we have Republic Act 1425 known as the Rizal Law. This law aims to deepen the sense of national identity by, requir by requiring national institutions to teach Rizal's life works and writings. Here in New York, the Philippine Consulate has an educational program for the children of Filipino immigrants. The Paralan sa Consulado, or school at the consulate, has operated under this program. For 25 years, students enrolled at the Paralan sa Consulado each summer. In 2014, led by Mr. Chris, Chris Peñas, AFTA, or the Association of Filipino American Teachers of America, integrated the teaching of Rizal into the program of the Paralan sa Consulado. In 2018, Mr. Peñas, together with the AFTA officers, turned over the teaching of Rizal to my organization, the alumni of the Rizal Youth Leadership Institute, making me one of the results, result teachers since 2018 at the Paralan sa Consulado. Our result plenaries with the students were focused more on themes and activities rather than content. There was no explicit nor structured teaching of results, life works, and writings as mandated by the law. There is a dwindling part participation of the youth at PSK. Research gap. There is no student assessment to show student learning experiences in the teaching of Rizal at the Paralan sa Consulado and its impact to the youth. There is no Rizal curriculum in place to offer to the Filipino American youth as it, did, as it is described and mandated by Republic Act 1425 or by the Rizal law. Research questions. Number one. How is the teaching of Rizal integrated in the current curriculum of the education program at the Philippine Consulate? Number two, what are the perceptions of the Filipino-American youth and the teaching of Rizal in terms of content, instructional delivery, valuing of subject? Number three, how do the Filipino-American youth perceive the role of the teaching of Rizal in their identity as a learner and as a person? And number four, what recommendations can be proposed to design a result curriculum for the Philippine Consulate Education Program based on the gathered data? Significance of this study. Filipino-American community will, get, will gain insights into the Philam youth's perceptions of their learning experiences. Policy makers, consulate program directors, and AFTA educators can use the study in creating new policies, educational program, and curriculum. Students will have their voices heard and included in the result curriculum creation. Concept. This study will illuminate the idea of not confining the teaching of Rizal within the four walls of an educational institution, nor within the Philippine waters. Output. 
Output of this study will be a Rizal curriculum guide and Rizal student workbooks that can be used and distributed in the Philippine consulates around the world, as well as in the different Knights of Rizal chapters worldwide. Related literature and studies. Under significance of student perception in curriculum design, I have found the work of Manuel Romualdez, Abby Buddyman, and Stephen Raga to be helpful in my study. And in the teaching of Rizal, I found Ford jo Joe Ford and the famous work of Gregorio Zaidi as helpful related literature and studies for my research. Conceptual theoretical framework. My study will begin with a program review on the integration of the teaching of Rizal in the education program at the Philippine Consulate, followed by Philippine American youth perceptions and learning experiences in the teaching of Rizal. And finally, a proposed Rizal curriculum for the Philippine Consulate education program as an output. Methodology, number one, research design. A mixed method research design will be employed as both quantitative and qualitative data will provide a better understanding of the research problem. Number two, respondents will be Filipino American youth, all genders in the age range of 15 to 24 years old, residing in the Northeast United States who are alumni or students enrolled between 2017 to 2021 of the Paralan Sa Consulado at the Philippine Consulate. Number three, data gathering procedure. First, there will be informed consent. I will obtain the assent and permission of the parents for students below 18 years old. Second, survey with a portion for open responses will be used in the study questions that will measure the perceptions of the Filipino American youth of the teaching of Rizal in terms of content and instructional delivery will be formulated by the The Panorama Student Survey, a student perception survey tool that, was that has a published validity brief will be contextualized to suit the agenda of this study and will be used in this study. Experts in the study study and teaching a result will be consulted to establish validity of the contextualized survey. Data analysis. For data analysis, initial coding, pattern coding, generating themes, and analyzing data will be used. Open responses and interviews will be organized and transcribed. Descriptive statistics of mean and standard deviation will also be used for the results of the survey. Finally, here are my other references. That would be all for my research proposal. Thank you, classmates, panelists, and to our Dean, Dr. Grace Severo. Allow me to introduce the next presenter. She is the school head of the De La Paz San Pablo Elementary School and Santo Domingo Elementary School, District of Louisiana, Division of Laguna. Let's give the floor to Dr. Michelle C. De Los Santos.